In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your PC faster and responsive for gaming in 2024 in order to get better FPS, better performance, and better input delay and latency out of your PC. So guys, welcome to my channel. Make sure to follow this whole video. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Drop a like on this video and if you do this any time, let's dive straight into our this video. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to create a performance and monitor plan on our PC. Before that, go for your window search, search for performance, and you will find that performance performance monitor application open up this tool on your pc now you need to go for this data collector set and click on this drop down now go for user defined right click here go for new and click on the data collector set now you need to name it like fps booster after that go for create manual and advanced plan click on the next button now select here this performance counter alert click next go for this add button and there you will find our discount list now you need to go for this processors tab and now down here you will find our discount list now you need to select out here the highest number available in this list according to your cpu thread now i have 16 thread cpu so i will go with the 15 now click on this add button and add this processor into this list now scroll a little bit up and there you will find our processes option simply click here now you need to go for the total option Again, click on the add button and add here process and processors into this list. Now click on this OK button. Once you're done, now click on the next button and click finish. And guys, that's it. Now simply right click here and click on the start button and now keep it running in your background. Now in the next step, you need to download these files on your PC and you can download from the link in the description of this video. Simply go there and download these files on your PC. Once you download these files on your PC, now here in the very first step, you will find out here this optimization tool that is shut up 10 and Windows Service Pack for optimizing your Windows services. Now in the very first step, go for shut up 10.exe file, simply double tap here. Hit yes, and here you will find our discount interface of this application. Make sure to run this as an administrator. And after that, here you will find out your privacy settings, your activity, history, and clipboard settings, app privacy settings, and a lot of other optimization for your Windows. And guys, you can use this application in just one click and you can optimize your overall PC. So go for this action tab, and there you will find out apply only the recommended settings because these are the recommended and safe settings for your windows that will not do any kind of problem on your pc if you just apply the recommended settings so click on this option which will ask you for creating a restore point it is safe to create a restore point but i'm not doing it because i have already tried this application and this will work perfectly fine so click no and guys this will automatically apply all these changes on your pc you can also uh, check it out here this application has disabled a lot of windows services that will help us optimizing our windows and make it faster so once you're done now click on the close button now the next step you need to open up this windows service disable pack on your pc simply double tap here and drag this folder out of this pack now simply double tap and open up this folder inside you will find that multiple couple of files like useful service disabler wpd disable unnecessary services disable memory compression and some auto run active file so guys open up the first folder inside you will find that windows 10 ultimate windows tweaker and windows 11 ultimate windows tweaker now use it according to your windows i'm using windows 11 so i will go with it now here you will find that exe file ultimate windows tweaker 5.1.exe file double tap here and open up this application so in the very first step simply go for security and privacy settings and there you will find that all the primary function windows settings and some privacy settings so you need to follow the same exact settings which i'm going to show you so the very first step simply go for disable windows error reporting and check mark on this box now go on the right side there you will find turn off user tracking turn it off disable the windows mobility center and disable onedrive on your windows once you're done now you need to go for next step that is the privacy check mark on all these boxes because this will help you to optimizing your pc once you're done now you need to go for next step that is additional settings and there you will find that all the settings just simply follow the same exact settings or copy same settings also on your pc now once you're done now you need to go for this performance tab and there you will find out disable windows time services disable tablet input service disable windows security center service and also check mark on disable prefresh service disable superfresh service disable printer spoiling service and disable microsoft edge preloading settings once you apply all the settings on your pc now here you will find out apply to each option simply click here your screen will go black for a few seconds and then it will be fine again now close out this application hit ok and guys that's it now again open up this folder 
Now go for the next step, that is WPD, open up this folder, and here you will find out this kind of the launcher file or exe file in this application. Simply double tap here, hit yes. So guys, you will find out here this kind of the interface, and this is a completely free application. You need to go for telemetry option and click on the disable and disable the telemetry on your PC. Now here you will find the telemetry IPs. Also click on the block button and block the telemetry IP on your PC. If you go into privacy, you will find out here local group policy settings, services, task scheduler and guys if you go inside it you will find a multiple application for optimizing your pc now scroll down and there you will find a disable all option click on the disable all and this will disable all the settings on your pc that will help you optimizing or getting the insane performance out of your any pc and now most important step if you want to revert all the settings back to the normal so there you will find that this default option just click here and this will reset your settings now go for this blocker option make sure to turn on the windows defender on your pc now go for telemetry and block it on your pc after that here you will find out the windows update i don't suggest you to disable it now go for apps tab and there you will find that all the available apps on your pc you can also delete it but guys just to use this first option or first private settings on your pc out of this application now simply close out it now next here you will find out to disable unnecessary service.cmd file simply right click here make sure to run this as administrator and hit yes so guys this file is created by everything tech you can also go and check out his channel also huge shout out to him so guys for disabling unnecessary service on your pc simply type here yes and press enter now to ask you what kind of optimization you want to do like basic standard or advanced i suggest you simply go with standard type your standard and press enter and guys this will do everything for you in just one single command now close out this application now the next step here you will find our disable memory compression right click here also make sure to run this as administrator now here you will find that this kind of the command simply press enter and guys that's it now simply close out this application so guys after doing all the optimization of our windows optimization pack now in the next step we are going to optimize our windows power plan so for that go for your windows search search for power and there you will find out choose a power plan so go for it and there you need to use the britsome high performance or high performance power plan on your pc whatever is available if you are using the power control go for britsome high performance but you can also normally go with high performance power plan once you select it here now you need to go for change plan settings go for turn off display and set it on never now hit save now again open up your high performance settings go for change advanced power settings now here is most important settings of the power plan like hard disk make sure to set it on zero for turning off your hard disk if it is not using in your background now scroll down go for processor power management go for minimum and maximum state and set it on 100 percent for having the best performance out of your cp now hit apply and click ok and close out your windows power plan setting now you need to one time reach your pc therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your pc again and enjoy the best performance out of your pc in any game on your pc i hope you love it please make sure to share your opinion about this video in the comment section drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video